Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we took our Bugs 2 here and we took an aftermarket Bugs 3 battery and we modified it to work with the Bugs 2. These aftermarket batteries, if you go back to the last video, will not work in a Bugs 2 unless you modify it. But now we're good to go with at least getting the battery in. But now this comes to our next issue. That. that can easily fall out it's very loose in there some guys like to use wedges I'm not too keen on that myself I don't really want to put anything up in against the circuitry there or have any pressure on that to where this drone could fail on me especially in flight so I was brainstorming trying to figure out what to do and you know just looking at the hardware store and I came across these these are little uh, hanging hooks. They're general purpose. They're removable. They go on with like a like a 3M tape almost. So what I was thinking is is if we mounted one here on the top of the bugs, like so, we mounted another one possibly on the underside, like so we might be able to take an elastic band and bring it around to hold that battery in. So we're going to give it a shot here. I haven't tried it yet. If it works, great. If not, it's 100% removable. So just going to clean up these little plastic pieces a little bit here because they got some little sharp edges on them from being connected to each other in the packaging. So that one will be good. We only need two of them, so we get a second one off here. I'll put these aside. Same thing, just want to make sure it's cleaned up because I don't want to be trying to do this while it's on the drone, you know, assuming that it works out. Alright, so we got two of those ready. Now, we've got to do this. So I might actually need to see the instruction on this. So it looks like you undo the reds. Okay. So what it's showing me here, and that's there we go, is that we're gonna be undoing the red side, attaching it to the back of the of the anchor, and then the black side gets attached to the drone. So let's do that. Undo that red side. I'm gonna attach right there. I don't know if you can hear it. My cat's in here with me. And she's not exactly quiet at the best of times. So we've got one there. It's going to push that on nice and tight. So we don't want that to fail. Now we'll find the other one here. There we go. So we peel off the red according to the instructions. And then we put the red onto the actual anchor. And I am going to quickly double check that. So I'd hate to put the wrong side on. Yeah, so show them peel red on the anchor, black side off. So if this works out, this is the removal tag. I won't leave that on. I'll actually trim that off. It's only on there so you can remove it. And I think it's probably best if we leave that on there for now. So where I'm going to put this is probably right over top of this GPS sign and the reason I got this is because it was white and I thought you know what and I'm gonna put it right right about where you know this thing takes up the whole width so let's see right about there I think that's where we should put it maybe I can take it right back to the end it's not completely stuck. I haven't pushed it down hard yet. Yeah, let's go right, right about there. I'm just going to put a little pressure on it for a couple seconds. That thing is on there. and It's not coming off unless I want it to come off. So, you know what? It doesn't really take away the look of the drone. If it works, I will be taking this little tab off, the removal tab. 
So let's flip this upside down. And now I gotta see where I wanna put it here. I'm thinking, let's see, we still want access to the to the locking mechanism, so we can't get in the way there. I'm thinking we could go there. You know, that's a flat spot. Let's do that. We're gonna go right over top of the made in China symbol there. Right over top there. All right, so I'm gonna prep this. We're gonna get that black sticker off there. I'm gonna make sure the hook's facing the right way. And I'd like to keep everything as centered as possible here. Pretty sure I did a pretty good job of keeping it centered on the, the top part. There we go, right there, and again, there's going to be this tab here for the moment, might even take it off in the video if it works out. Alright, so now, stick one of our modified batteries in there, okay, I'm not going to plug it in right now, but what we got here now, the plan is to hopefully the elastic can come down over top and hold that in. At least that's the thought of it. So I've got a few different elastics here. We'll start with this green one. These are just what I had handy. So get in there like that. And underneath. I think that's going to work. That battery cannot go anywhere, but I don't like how tight that elastic is. I think it's a little too loose. I do have a smaller one here. I think that'll probably work better for us. And I also think maybe bringing the cables through the center of the elastic will just keep them out of the way. So, down, over, and there. And keep the elastic spread out. Should be able to plug it in. And you can even tuck in our little, little balance charging lead there. There you have it. That battery is not coming out for anything. That is good to go. We can move this around. There we go, guys. And this mod, very minor, but I think it'll be very effective, will also allow us to use the stock battery Let's take this modified battery out and just get it around the balance lead here. Get this modified battery out of here. And we'll stick the stock battery in. Oops, I got the balance lead kind of sticking out there. There we go. There you have it, guys. I think we'll trim off this. Uh, I think that's a winner. Trim that off because I don't think we need that extra tab now. If I want it off, I'll get it off. There's ways. There we go. Again, thanks for watching, guys. P appreciate the support. Give me a like, leave a comment, and make sure you subscribe. See ya. Thank you.